Hi friends. Um, okay, I have a lot of chains and I wanted to share them. So um, this is like one of my special interests and no one ever wants to talk to me about them because no one cares. Um, but I wanted to show them. So here's my Disney pin collection. I've been collecting since I was eight years old um, and I'm 21 now. So that is a long time. Um, I probably have way more than I need and way more than I remember. So uh, let's start. We'll start with my first little pin book like the little one I have uh I've moved pins around so it's not the same as it was like when I started but Ooh, let's go <laughs> okay so the first one is this tiny little one little 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 wristlet a look um okay so you kind of start off with Hawaiian Mickey and Minnie um some 2010 pins classic 11 years ago yeah. Um, like I said, a lot of them are, like, gone because I've moved them around a uh, little Mary Poppins mini, a little cherry coke mini, mini. <laughs> um, I got this set for, like, my ninth birthday, um, or, like, Christmas or something. I remember my mom would put, like, one in a stocking every day and leading up till Christmas. Um, and so it's this set. Who knows if any of these pins are actually, like, the ones my mom got me online. Who knows if any of them are real? Uh, here's my little mini Haunted Mansion set. This is one of my favorite pins. Um, this is a funny story. I was at Magic Kingdom and I lost this pin. Um, and then I was walking around and I stepped on something and it was this <laughs> And it was this pin. It was a different one though. So I thought that was really funny. Um, some little Doom Buggy. Classic. Classic little mini uh this was my first pin i believe this little eeyore it's gone through the rough a lot of its little jewels are missing it's so cute um little babies let's see um first two sets i completed i think i might be missing a few of the babies i don't know which ones um and i'm pretty sure it's like the jasmine one i have is fake um, but I don't really care about fake pins, unless it's like limited edition or something, I don't really care, because they're all pins, they're all cute, whatever. Uh, I don't have a complete set of the children from Small World, but I loved this set growing up, and I always thought it was cute. And then my last one, um, they don't make ones like these anymore, which is really cool, so I have these two. Um, I have my little Epcot one, a little pie, and corn. A peace sign, classic 2008 uh, pins. Let's see, my next big set is this bad boy. Oh, and we already lost one. Who knows what pin that's for? Um, okay, and so this is my big one. Uh, I have about two full completed big ones. <laughs> I'm working on a third because I'm insane. Um, and this is where we get into the big ones. Uh, we love some violations. Um, I was, as you can tell, I was very obsessed with those packs where you could get like five. Um, and I was a big Disney pin trader, so I traded a lot for these set, like this whole one. I'm pretty sure I got through trading. Whoops. I guess we'll figure out. I know which pin that is because that one pin, that pin always falls. Um, here is some more. Like I said, I really like to go like those ones that came in the things. Um, you'll see a lot of like Stitch and Donald a lot because they're some of my favorite characters. And Little Fig Me. Um, I had like a whole Christmas section, but then I moved some around because uh, I like to put pins out that are related to holidays. Um, or I just like the pins and I'll keep them out because I think they're cool. Um, but this Tinkerbell has like little crystals on it and she's really cute. Um, let's see. Oh, here's my Stitch page and some of my Muppets pins. Um, I love this pin so much where he's like little Elvis. I think it's so cute. Um, we got the classic little little uh alphabet pins and i'm missing i think it's cinderella for this set um and then some bell pins because she was my favorite princess growing up more stitch a little tinkerbell with the goofy hat which i think is so cute and then my fave little muppets i don't know how many this was my first muppet pin the guitar love that pin um i don't know how many of those are in the series of the ones where they're wearing the mickey hats but i have uh, four of them and i think they're cute and i love the muppets so Oop. pins are everywhere <laughs> uh let's see we have more donald like i said some little donald ones um oh remember this 
like this little guy like he was everywhere they just like loved him like all the kind of like chibi of the of the main five well tigger um the baby series of these guys i always thought was so cute um little ones of them at disneyland adorable a little crush um yeah so like all of them are like kind of like it's like full but it's like a lot of them are missing in the pages because i like move things around all the time um because i'm like oh no we've been in there but <laughs> some of these things i like don't care about like the pineapple whatever one um cute 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 let's see oh some main street babies scrooge as the mayor goofy is like one of the people uh, I forgot her name. The Lady Chippendale uh, as like one of the suffragettes and then Mickey as someone. I don't know. He's cute. Whatever. Uh, Mickey Mug. Him on a little boat. Some of those Nemo pins. Aw, R.I.P. That was my favorite thing at Hollywood Studios and they destroyed it. Um, little Donald guys. My Mickey Kermit hat and then some pins when Twister 3 came out, I guess. Oh, and this Jasmine one that I traded for it from 1995. Let's see. Ooh, some of my favorites. Okay, so I'm still looking for the third. I forget, I, I forget the other one's name. But I have Donald and I have him and I need the third duck, dog, bird. By Hamilton playing uh my beautiful beautiful baby 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 this is one of the first pins I got as well classic Epcot 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 uh Figment we love Figment some fantasy pins some ghost pins don't even know another pin though which is great for me oh it's the same same brand okay I looked on eBay for years for this pin years probably months I was like 10 I don't know um because my name is Helen and I wanted Horace and the H and I found him who knows if he's real but I love him so there's a long time where I would like go and look up every pen I had and be like oh my god is it real now I like don't care this is 2009 little mini spin oh and look there's the hat so sad um yeah like I don't want this one's like broken too this <laughs> thing came off um, it's supposed to move up and down, but I'm pretty... Yeah, see, he broke. Uh, <laughs> like, taped him in there. I don't even know where it went. Whatever. It's like, these pin books are so hard to move around. Um, let's see. Um, love this pin. Love that. Uh, look! Oh, this was one of my favorite series growing up. I used to, like, have polymer clay and would make the Donald one all the time. Because I love Donald. Um, and I love this set. And I got this whole set from trading. It's this... Uh, I have this car series at the back that always falls out. Like, the pinbacks never stay on it. it makes me so angry. Whoops. Uh, as you can see, I'm, like, not the best when it comes to, uh conserving my pins even though it's like whatever they're pins like i love them to death but also like whatever yeah so okay so some of my cars all of my cars pins they're like a set where they're all at disney um and they always fall the mater one and this guy and then um this is a one that fell out i have like three splash mountain pins and then he always falls out Lightning McQueen, he's like, get me out of here. I'm like, whoa, bud, calm down. Okay, I'm gonna <laughs> put these back. Um, let me just show you the last page a little. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, so here's the last page. Uh, the other two cards pins, three cards pins should go there. My Splash Mountain one should go there. Phil Hart Magic, best ride show, whatever. Uh, a classic, um, like when the first. Mm, uh when the millennium pins came out in 2000 my mom got a bunch of them because this one is for the Musketeers club for october 3rd 1955 and then these are some conservative pins when they did that at animal kingdom and then classic little moving ride pins jungle cruise teacups small world that one doesn't move but it's cute oh and everest love a good everest pin um 
when I was little, I used to like get pins for the first time I rode, like rode the ride. Um, and so I did that with like big rides, like adult rides. I was like, whoa, look at me. I'm an adult, I rode this ride. It's like, girl, you went up and down twice, calm down. Um, I don't know where any of these things are now. Okay, uh, I'll come back and fix this later, but I still have some more I wanted to share. Um, and so, uh, like those Millennium pins I'm talking about, my mom got a bunch of them. And so I have them in here because I don't want to, like, take them out of their package because I think that's the fun of it. Uh, uh, 1995 to Toy Story pin. Um, Beauty and the Beast 1991 pin. What is this? Uh, Snow White, 1937, and they would each like count down to the millennium. Uh, and then I have Alice, uh, oh, One Hour in Wonderland from the 1950s. Um, and then my favorite, the Davy Crockett pin. Uh, but the fun thing about it is my mom actually got a misprint. So I believe the date should be 1946 or 48, but we got 47. And so that's one of my favorite pins I have because it's a misprint and I think that's cool. I'm, I like, don't think it's even uh, that expensive or anything. I just like getting misprint pins because I think that's fun. Okay, let's go to my next finished book. This is one they used to do like fun pin books and now they all are ugly. Um, <laughs> so I just get the classic ones now because they don't bother me. Um, but all the other ones are boring. Okay, this is when I started like, I'm gonna organize and like be clean. Um, Orange Board series. Okay, Orange Board is like my favorite Disney Parks character. Um, I think he's so cute. Remember when they had that cup for last year's, like 2019 uh, Spring Festival or whatever? Flower and Arts. Uh, I wanted that so bad and I never got it. Um, this was like a beginning pin trader series, but I just bought them because I like them and I never traded them. Um, and then I have this and uh, 2016, 2016, 2016. Cool, 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 cool. Let's see. Ooh, fun. Okay, again, those kind of packs. Uh, June, my birth year, June, my birth month. Chicken Little, love a good Chicken Little. Uh, good Morning, Gathering, Magic Kingdom. Didn't go to that, but I traded for it. Uh, yeah, a lot of these are like traded or from packs. Um, love a good Violimation pin, like the 3D ones. A lot of these pins are actually from, there's a Disney outlet store or like character outlet store by Ma in like Sawgrass. Um, and we go to those and we get these for like 99 cents. Um, so, Kylie River Rapids. <laughs> I've only rode that ever once. Uh, Big Thunder, one of my faves. Uh, Rock and Roller Coaster, Merlin, uh, Water Nemo, Figment, Figment, uh, Spring Pins. These, I love this set. I think they're so pretty. Um, They've gotten yellow really quickly. You know how like that plastic cover thing gets so yellow? Like these ones, the like, gold ones have gotten yellow so quick and they're not even that old. I'm, they're probably like from 2015. So like, what, like, five, six years ago? So I haven't looked at those in a while. So yeah, they got pretty bad, but I love the frames of the pins. Um, little keys, I loved the key series. I wish that they still had them. I believe they were like trading pins. Um, some Sorcerer's Magic Classic when the Monsters University came out. Um, these pins are so cute. They're little carousels. And I got Tiana and Snow White. Um, this little Dumbo pin. Again, I loved frame pins. I think they're so cute. Oswald. Love Oswald. Beauty and the Beast. Um, yeah. Yeah. Oh, and this series. I thought this series was so cute. I think I might have all of them besides, like, the... I never... Okay, you know how, like, mystery pins, like, cast member pins... They have like the regular ones and then they have the ones that are like um like there's no ink on them and it's just like the metal i don't like those i think there's i, I don't know I, I like the color um uh set of these oh they're so cute i love these little guys love hot air balloons owl city baby uh this alice in wonderland set uh there's like a bunch of them but i couldn't afford it this is from tokyo japan i traded for this um and it's like the little carousel there they have um, save Pluto, cute, did little hats, Big Thunder, uh, just Steampunk one, Perry the Platypus, Maleficent, and then like a wedding one. Um, they have like a dog and cat series stitch. Um, Animal Kingdom Lodge, I got this when I stayed there. Um, my mom's close friend from college 
used to work for Disney. She just retired and she used to get like discounts on rooms. And so uh, we would stay at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. I think I stayed there twice and that was because my mom's other friend would come down and pay for the room. <laughs> this yellow one I found outside of uh, the Prince Charming's Carousel. I've never ridden that ride um, and I found that on the floor. And then this is Spectromagic, a piece of the parade. Rest in peace. Um, let's see. Next. Oh, yes. Uh, classic. Love these Haunted Mansion pins. These are from 2008. This is one of my favorite series. Uh, this one's from, like, 2017, where it's all the villains. There's one where it's all the, um, Nightmare Before Christmas characters, but I have never gotten that, and I like them, and I want them, but it's just, like, <sighs> the thing... Like, remember when pins like this big used to be like, I don't know, like 10 bucks? Now they're like $20. I don't have enough money to justify that. This is from when I went to Disneyland in 2015. It was their 60th, and I got this classic pin. It was my first time at Disneyland. Um, look how cute. Love those. And then, like, they're, since it was like their diamond anniversary. Okay. And then, boop, boop, boop. These are from Uniqlo, had like t shirts and boxes that came with pins, and we got two of them. Tatooine, love that pin, so cute. I have that design on a glass, and I think Danny has that on a t-shirt. Uh, some, some, NASA space, oh, it's Mission Space. Uh, Shanghai Disney Grand Opening, again, I got that at the Disney Outlet Store, 2016, 2016, never been on a cruise, got that at the Disney Outlet Store. Love this, it's like, see-through, it's stained glass, beautiful pin. Um, I love this. It looks, it looks like it reminds me of like a little brewing company logo, which I found so cute. And these two I got in a blind box. Um, and then look at this series. I think this series is so cute. Little babies. And then Donald Sum Sum, because as you know, I love Donald. Okay, these are my babies. I love these ones so much. I'm missing. I'm missing a few, um, okay, uh, Ariel, uh, oh, I'm missing Jasmine, and I forget who else, I guess is Ariel, Rapunzel, Aurora, Tiana, Snow White, and, uh, Cinderella, oh, I'm missing, so I'm missing Belle and Jasmine, classic little pin, Ugh. these guys, I'm missing one of them, makes me so sad, so this was, like, a scavenger hunt, um, for, um, food and wine one year, I got these at the Disney Outlet Store. I'm still looking for one of them. Okay, and then this was um, 30th Disney Store Anniversary. Uh, they had a bunch of sets where you could go in and you had to enter a raffle. This is one I got. Um, Roz. I love this pin. I think it's so cool. A little bat and a Fantasia and then Lulu and Stitch. Okay, what else? Um, the next set I got of those are my favorite. I actually did not win the raffle, but one woman, she got it twice, and she was so grateful. It was so nice, and she gave us the um, she gave us the ticket so that we can buy these. And I, this is the one I wanted the most because of Baymax uh, and Wreck-It Ralph. And then a little Olaf, uh, Food and Wine, not Food and Flower and Garden from 2017. Some classic Christmas pins. These are actually, uh, they have like little lanterns on them. Like little strings you can tie them somewhere, Wally and Eve. And then these are uh, Haunted Mansion, Donald and Daisy, where they're dressed in the gear. And then a uh, Leprechaun pin from 2017 as well. Little pin. Cute. Okay, and then this is the last page of this one. Some random pins. Got that in New York. Um, this was a Disney Outlet, All Star Resort. Little moon phases. I think it's so cute. Very merry. Um, Christmas. I've never been to it. Again, got this at Disney Outlet. Food and Wine. That was a pin for completing one of the scavenger hunts. A little Oswald pin. So cute. And then, um, Hollywood, uh, Disney history from Pizza Planet. So I think that's like, I don't know what piece it is. It probably tells you on the back. And then the Food and Wine pin. And yes, that's that one for that. Um, so that, as you can see, that kind of... That's like the pin book from like high school. So it's a little more organized. Um, and then I have one last one. This is what I'm doing now. Went back to the classic style because I did not like uh, any of the pin books they have now because I think they're kind of like camouflage or random things like that. Oops. I don't like those. Um, so this is nowhere near finished and I haven't really been to the parks in a really long time because <laughs> of COVID. So I haven't really gotten anything new. Um, 89, no. 
35, 35th anniversary, um, Epcot pin, uh, that's why I said 89, oh, it's 85, 82, completely wrong, Epcot, um, this was, uh, I got all of these at, um, the Disney outlet again, I guess it was, like, a pin hunt you could do at Magic Kingdom or somewhere, um, but I kind of like the style of these pins, and so I got them all, they were all, like, 99 cents, too, Disney outlet is a place to get pins if you want to trade them, some Pirates of the Caribbean, I really like framed pins, I think they're fun, the classic, I have this one, we saw this somewhere else, oh well, I probably traded for it, uh, Chippendale, roasting nuts, cute. These are all glow in the dark. I love these pins so much. Um, they're so cool. I love them. Constance and the girl on the top the piece. 45th Magic Kingdom anniversary. Some pins. These were all gotten at the outlet store. A majority of my pins now that I get are at the outlet store. This was at the outlet store and it's uh, Happily Ever After. Uh, goofy with <laughs> Flexing, which I think is the funniest pin in the world. Um, all of these ones I'm about to show you are also, I also got them at the Disney Outlet store. Silent Night, Jedi Night, and look, it's little Santa Yoda, cute. Finn Ray, uh, Phasma, Kylo, oh. I have like three of these pins, and they're all over my room. I have him in my book, I have one on my, uh, like, corkboard and one somewhere else. Uh, Ray and Luke, some classic frames, Rose. I love her. BBA, R2D2, Chewbacca, and then like this is from Last Jedi, and that's Fanpo, Ray, BBA. I don't know what why they did it like that. So they were cheap pins anyways, doesn't matter. Um Um, I've tried it for both of these, so I know there's a Donald one, so I need to get that. Um three county arrows are like my fave. I love them. Little Dumbo Donut. That I went to Disneyland again in twenty eight with my mom and dad because uh, we were going to Yosemite and so that was the first time we were at the Matterhorn and then I had this set um with like places all over the world and so I got a Disneyland one I got a Swiss Alps I got an African one and then I also got a Monument Valley one and it has a misprint on it and I put it on um another thing that I'll show you later um and then some flower and garden I believe I got like all my festival pins are ones that I get at the outlet store uh besides these these were a scavenger hunt at Epcot and uh, when okay any scavenger hunt that has like a pin um prize best ever all the other ones like all the ones that they did for um food and wine like a few years ago they were like these little rubber um like keychains of Remy and uh, Emil and they were cute but it's like I want a pin like those are good things um Valentine's Day Wally and Eve, so cute. Uh, Lando when Han Solo movie came out. Um, I have an Avengers thing. And so th there's a pin that used to be right here. It's missing because I put it on a different uh, thing that's presented in my room. Spider-Man, like all of these pins I got at the Disney Island store. Um, besides like the Christmas ones. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Black Panther, Ant-Man, Hawkeye. I found that trading. Uh, Captain America because I love him, Thor because I love him, Ant-Man and the Wasp, that one I bought at regular price, and then Spider-Man was also a Disney outlet store. Oh, and Tiana, my fave princess. Um, this is empty. This is like what I'm working through now, my new Star Wars one, so that's like, these are all for the newer movie, um, or Batu, so Batu, 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 um, right, is that what it's called? Galaxy's Edge, Batu, yeah, um, and then this is for... Um, the newest movie, or the, no, Last Jedi, when the lightsaber broke. Cool. So, oh, I had a lot of pins here, but I don't know where they went. Whatever. Oh, I know where they went. Never mind. Um, and then this is the, so I have two more pages, um, but I'm only working on the front of one. And so, uh, I've never seen the show, but my mom got me for Christmas, because the Disney Outlet store, Christmas... Disney Outlet Store, which I actually checked and it only got me another one, so, um, I actually will probably give that to someone. If one of you want it, let me know. Um, Disney Outlet Store, 2020, I went to downtown Disney, um, after, uh, Halloween, um, with my mom, and she was like, you have to get a 2020 pin, because it's blah, 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 I'm like, okay. Uh, traded, traded, Princess Tiana, Sebastian, and... 
whatever the bird's name is. I love this series. I think it's so cute. Uh, Mickey Mini, Valentine's Day, Jiminy Cricket, Italian, Goofy, Moroccan. Yes. More of these pins. Um, these are doubles as well, so I'll probably end up trading these. If anyone wants them, let me know. And then a little zero. So cute. So that's my last pin book. Um, but as I said, I have pins everywhere. Um, and so uh, the only thing I kind of showcase besides my cork boards, which I have various pins on, I have like a uh, Christmas BB-8 pin. I have another one of those um, Remy pins, a gay uh, Mickey Mouse, <laughs> and then like the pumpkin BB-8, which is one of my favorite uh, holiday pins. So a bunch of like pins over there that I want to showcase. Oh, and an X-Wing pilot pin because I like to fancy myself as one of those guys. Um, and let's see what's on there. Nothing. Nothing is on there. Okay, um, and so this is like my display pin thing. And so not all of these are Disney pins, because duh. Um, but I have like a little mechanic Oswald. Um, see, I love that series. I love Hercules, so I wanted to display that one. Um, my 20th birthday I went to Hoop to Do Review with my mom and Danny. Um, and so there is that little guy from that experience. Here is Hatbox Ghost. Uh, Baby Muppets. I traded this one. Captain Marvel. Let's see what else. Um, not easy being green. When they used to do that, um, what's it called? When they used to do the volunteer work and then people who volunteered would get a free day at Disney, they used to sell this pen and so I bought it. Um, Fozzie and Gonzo Christmas. They're gay and in love. BB-8 Christmas, love BB-8 uh, Christmas Carol. I love this pin. There's another pin like this. I don't have it. Again, as I said, I love this series. Pain in the... Uh... I forget the other one's name. Oh, whatever. I love them. I love that series. Um, there's that Monument Valley one I told you about. Um, the misprint is that uh, one of the M's you can't see. One of the M's they like uh, forgot to put it and get it, so you can kind of see the space in between it. And then... My final pin, which I'll show you, is uh, Festival of the Arts Figment, uh, where he's on surfing on one of the uh, monotypes by, I forget the artist's name. I should know it because I'm in art history, I'm in a bunch of art history classes. Uh, but this was another one of those pins where if you finish the scavenger hunt, you could get a pin. C is not a good pin. Ugh, I should have gotten all of them. They were all really nice. Uh, yeah, but those are all my display pins that I have. And then finally, I'll show you what I am trading. So besides the other pins that I mentioned that anyone wants, and if anyone wants any of these, let me know. So, uh, Space Mountain, Duffy Bear, um, Nala and Simba. I couldn't remember his name. On a lunchbox. Classic. Uh, Snowman, Melting, Sad. Uh... Mickey as Jack, uh, Corella Deville. If you want to be Corella fied in time for the movie, a uh, Future World pin, uh, one of the ghosts because I have this pin, and then Oswald. Yeah. So let me know. Oh, and recently my mom just gave me this yesterday. This is a little Tower of Terror pin, um, because I went on Tower of Terror for the first time before coronavirus, and then it kind of goes up and down, and I like that side better because I think. Yeah, so this is a 30 minute video <laughs> um but yeah those are all the pins i have i believe um every other pin i have is probably like on my cork board as i said or somewhere else um yeah thanks for watching i guess i hope you enjoyed let me know if you have any questions uh and if anyone wants any of the pins i showed that i am willing to trade for or giving you because whatever Yay! Bye!